Hi guys, in this video we will see how to create our floppy orchestra. In the previous video we saw how to connect a single floppy to Arduino and to the power supply. In this phase we will see how to connect more floppies. In this case there are 18. First, let's take care of the power supply. All the floppies must be connected to the power supply using the 5 volt output. Secondly, insert the jumpers between pin 11 and 12 of each floppy to enable its operation and uh, turn on the LED. If we want the LEDs go to the rhythm of the music, a bridge must be created with the pin step as explained in the previous video. Now we connect all the floppies to our Arduinos. First of all, we obtain a common ground for all the floppies of each group. In our case we have two groups of floppies, each managed by an Arduino. We use jumpers to connect all the floppies together and obtain a single connector to connect to the Arduino ground pin. To connect the step and direction pins I created an ad hoc connector to make everything cleaned and more stable. Each connector has two active pins that must be connected in succession in pairs to the Arduino input pins in this way. Floppy 1 to the pins 2 and 3, floppy 2 to the pins 4 and 5, and so on. Each Arduino is able to manage six different channels or tracks. but we can connect more than one floppy to each channel. Just make sure that the power supply used is able to carry the load. And now let's move on to software. Unfortunately, it was written many years ago, so it's not perfectly compatible with all 64 bit systems. But if you want, you can try. I suggest you do as I did. Recover an old PC from the landfill and install a 32 bit version of Linux. No matter what, the important thing is that it's lightweight and as Java installed. Now download the software. You can do it from my git repository. Once this is done, you need to install the necessary libraries. Then open the libs folder and unpack the two compressed files. The first library to be installed is the rxtx library. The instructions to install them in the various operating system are in the install file. To do this, just copy the rxtxcom.jar file and the library files in the Java directories indicated. Once this is done, the Arduino library must be installed. Just copy the entire unpacked folder into the Arduino slash libraries folder in your room. And that's it. Now let's move on Arduino. There are two sketches, Mopi A and Mopi B. The first must be loaded on the Arduino that manages the first group and the second for the second group. The only difference between two sketches is the code on line 98. Now let's run our software. Move to the Mopi Desk slash dist folder and run the Mopi Desk dot jar. In some systems it's enough to click. In others, it's necessary to launch the command java-jar mopidesk.jar from the command line. Once the software is started, we connect our Arduinos. First the board that contains the Mopi A sketch 
and then the one that contains MoPB. At this point, we select from the first six drop down menus the interface corresponding to the first Arduino. In second six, the second. And then we press connect. Now let's select a MIDI file. The MIDI file must be a number of tracks equal to the number of floppies. If you have a MIDI file with three tracks, it will be sufficient to duplicate them. Also pay attention to the tone and speed in the passages between the notes. Remember that the floppies have physical limitations. You can find some examples already working in the MIDI folder. At this point we press start and that is it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, keep following this channel, share and have a lot of fun!